actually helpful for me because I believe all the weapons I were using were B. So I had a pretty slow rotation. But now I can... Yeah, now I can have a faster... I need to get them to level 60 now. Um, because the new level cap is 30. And other nice thing... is what is this plus four whenever i get let's see i have five pools right now so i need four more gold pools and then i'll get another ssr Yeah, that was that was a completely random one. But it was right before. I have 71 pity. I was like, man, it'd be really cool if I got an SSR right before pity so I could get another one at pity. And then it turned purple really fast. And I was like, wait a second. And then it turned like pink. And I was like, ah. And then I got one of the characters I actually won. And I was like, ah. <laughs> I would very much appreciate, there's a few more characters that I, there's like two characters that I really want, which are Samir and uh, the Yua copy. Those are the, because Samir is like really good and one of the better designs, I think. The Yua copy is just, I mean, how can I not? I saw some people, because you're, the SSR you got is Crow, right? I saw some people talking about him earlier, um, in the global chat, and about half of the chat was like, man, I hope I pull anyone except for him, and the other half was like, why are you guys saying that? He's actually really good. Yeah, I'm sure people don't really know how to use them super well, and most people are kind of DPS focused, which is not really the smart way to play the gacha game. Which is the only gacha game I've ever seen to have such consistent power levels. Which kind of makes sense, because it doesn't have PvP, but this game does, so... Then again, if you ignore PvP, I uh, kind of doubt that this game is going to be, like, challenging or annoying without the best characters, because... What? Strawberry Mari. I mean, it sounds like it, but I don't know... It would have to. <laughs> Might be a funny coincidence. Interesting. Okay, should be better now. Is that Sarah? Yeah, that is. Assuming... Yeah. <laughs> Are you entertained by my stream, Sarah? They, they, some of these challenges are really cool. Like this one, it just puts you in a maze and it's like here. Did it actually show you as being in the chat? I think you probably just left. Collect stuff. No, go down. no not entertained. Unfortunate. 
Oh, that man, that these are so good. What is up with these challenges? Oh, Sarah, look, look, look at this thing that my camera does. All right, if I move my head over here, look, it it, it follows me. Haha. -ha. Isn't that neat? I tend to move around a lot in my chair, so having that feature is pretty nice. Literally, like, you open this chest. Why am I still fighting these guys? And it <laughs> How are you, you in a maze. I'm leaving to bang Claude now. Be on soon. You know, you can, you can, you can, uh, bang Claude in front of us. We, we'll watch. If you get eight of, like, the checkpoints in this maze, you just get two pulls. And then for, like, every additional couple checkpoints you get, you get more pulls. It's just free. Free money. It's free real estate, dead mean. Do you know if the if the dandelion uh, pulls come back or if it is a one-time thing? I believe they're just a one-time thing. Because they count as world exploration. So, if you want to get to like 100% exploration, you have to get them all. It's rather interesting. However, other, there are other chests that do respawn. I don't think they give you pulls though. No, they just give you general stuff. They might have a chance of giving you pulls. A lot of stuff in this game kind of has chances of giving you stuff. Um. I wonder if Crow's going to end up being Chi Chi. <laughs> Only goes to support like early on and then falls off kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Uh, I have one minute left to get the last one of these crystals. Do I have any pulls? Oh, I have a ten pull for the black ones. I guess I'll go ahead and do that. I got one. I have Was it gonna be changing okay. colors? It's purple. Nice. That's good. At least I got something. Yeah, it's not. All the time you get anything from those, so when you do, it's actually nice, even if it's a purple. Yeah, I don't know what What's it gonna be? Is. Oh, that's a new one. Um, the Terminator. Oh. She got big gun. Oh, big gun. Oh, there it is. There it is. Fourteen seconds. Yes, got them all. Yeah, I just got a free eight pulls from that. Wow. Oh, it's Hilda. It's a Fire Emblem character. I gotta use her. Big gun. Yeah, I've not used any of the gun characters, although Shiro is ranged, and I guess now I have the bow character, so. And I can switch out this freaking staff. Nemesis would actually not be the worst thing for me to pull at this point, because I'm kind of very ranged oriented. I don't know if that's a thing. Oh yeah, it is big gun. Ooh, it's cryo gun. Yeah, I, uh, Subasa just one shots things, huh?
Yeah, if I aim a charge shot to the head, things just die. Yeah, that's big damage. Nice, nice. Okay. That seems like it could be a good button. Um, is it kind of big hits? It's it's more like a machine gun. More like a machine gun, okay. I mean, you could try and upgrade it and see. If you feel like it's doing pretty good damage, I don't think you're wasting resources by upgrading things right now. Especially not early on when you're using the lower tier stuff. It's like, in Genshin, do you, are you really wasting resources to get characters to 60? Not really. That's fair. Question is, I might get an SSR soon. Uh, you will. Probably. Um, I oh, believe I'm some people are getting their free SSR pool uh, item today. I think I'll get mine tomorrow, because I think the game bugged and didn't give me my login on the first day. But... Also, something really nice about the world exploration in this game compared to Genshin is it does give you an exact, like, checklist of what you're still missing. I don't think it tells you where things are, but it basically says, like, oh, you're missing this many waypoints and this many viewpoints and this many chests and this many dandelions, that kind of stuff. That's seventy five percent in Astra now. Alright, join the Discord. Can I get my Primo Dems now? I don't know how that works. What is it telling me? Oh, he is because he's ready. Oh, survey. It's here now. Fill out the questions. Top tier streaming content, filling out the survey. <laughs> what is your eight? I'm one years old. Okay, so I got another black temple. Okay, yeah, I have I have nine fates now. So I can get an SSR right now. But I might wait until I get one more so I can do it, do a temple. I can do a black pin. Nothing. Although I did get a pretty... One of the black pulls I did, I got nothing, but then I got like a high level... Uh, fire core like instead of getting a fire core i got like the final upgraded version of it for like when you're really upgrading weapons so that was nice so if anything the black things are good for getting you a lot of uh just materials Something else that's nice is, unlike Genshin, where um, generally you just keep getting free star weapons that are useless until you finally start like either throwing them out or converting them into XP, um, this game just automatically converts them to XP once you have like enough to get all the stars on one, I think. Oh, nice. I don't know if you saw that message I sent, but yeah, there's basically most of the systems are unlocked now, and um, yeah, there's like a new way to spend your resin that involves just hiding chests around the world and hoping people don't find it long enough to get extra rewards. Oh, so if you if you claim them, yeah, the way it while. works is like 
you spend 30 resin to get a chest. And because you got the chest, um, you get like some rewards immediately. So you definitely, you definitely get like worth it rewards for using the resin. But then on top of that, you get to hide that chest somewhere in the world. And the longer it goes without being found, the more it upgrades. And if it upgrades to like certain points, you get rewards as well as the person who finds it when someone finally finds it and opens it. And then, like, when someone gets near it, I found someone else's today. Like, it, you can get something like, a great way for people to that. find uh, clipping out of bound glitches. <laughs> yeah, place well, it, it's actually kind of strict on how it lets you place them. Like, if you're against the wall, it won't let you, so it may be difficult. Um, but yeah, I, it gave me like an item today to go find someone's chest. And, like, it marks out a general area, and then when you get to that area, it gives you, like, a few screenshots of, like, roughly where it is. And then I found it and opened theirs and got rewards from that. So that was cool. Um, but I was like, hmm, where should I hide mine so they're not going to get found? Then I thought, well, I have that teleport waypoint that's technically out of bounds of the playable area right now. So <laughs> let's put one out there. <laughs> And did I it don't work? I think it's been found. <laughs> Not yet. So, it's working. Also, I've been getting a lot of relic. Um, <laughs> shards to upgrade relics with, which is quite nice. Chest zero out of four, huh? Clearly I should keep my eyes out. If dubbing is terrible, I'm just gonna put that. What? How much money have you, have you spent in the game so far? I have not spent anything. <laughs> someone asked you that? Or did someone just ask that normal? In the survey. Oh, that's right. Climbing's pretty terrible, of course. Jumping yeah. is jumping's fine, but what needs to be changed is you need to be able to ledge grab, or like cheat up on ledges when you're barely against them. Mm. What do you think about the overall goal in Tower of Fantasy? I don't care. That about sums it up. <laughs> yep, I g I gave them a glowing negative on that one. I was like, I is the overall goal for me has nothing to do with the overall goal. The overall goal for me is just play the game. I can't say I'm a story type because, like, the story in this game is terrible. What do you dislike about the week, the activity mission system? Did I say I dislike the weekly activity mission system? I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I did either. Are you knocking on my door? Yeah. What do you want? Yeah, He's not in here. He's in Jamie's room. Okay. 
should be okay. I see a chest here. Maybe I can use one of these to blow it up. Stamina consumption is moderately tiring just because I feel like the stamina is very consumed very quickly when you do like the jumps when you're climbing. Like more so. Uh... Yeah, the stamina, the jumps don't actually work most of the time, which is a bigger issue than the stamina. But the stamina itself is pretty low to start out with. I mean, there's no real reason why the jumps should consume, like, significantly more stamina than just climbing. Like, yeah. what are you trying to encourage? People to just sit there and press the W button? Like, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, no Breath of the Wild did it. That doesn't mean that you have to do it. I think that's a fair rating here. Based on your current experience of the game, how likely are you con to continue playing in Tower of Fantasy? I'm going to say neutral. Isn't this the same question? Oh, is this just different simulacros? Um, they're the upgraded versions of them. Oh. The C3 versions. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Merely on design, huh? Boss is cute. I like Tsubasa. Chest, huh? King is just an edge lord. I, I don't know why people like him. King is well, people. I don't know if people like him. It's just he's like the best character in the game, and I think his move set's fun. A lot of people like the scythe, but him as a design is boneless D Luke. He he is boneless D Luke. Honestly, just visual designs. The only one that I can say that I like is Tsubasa. 
I don't know which ones are in the survey, but Subasa and um Oh, uh, what's her name? I got the cool design. I like that one. Uh I can't remember the other person's Who are you thinking of? It's the person with the two guns and the bike. Two guns and a bike, huh? Samir? Yeah, Samir. Samir is probably my favorite design. Samir and Nemesis. Nemesis. Uh, Nemesis isn't on the survey, I don't think. No. I'm missing a chest in here. Wait, so uh, when King upgrades at C3, he just gets old? Does he actually? He has white hair. Huh. I, I don't get it. Whatever. He just loses his... He loses all of his distinguishing character features, which is being an edgelord. And just becomes, like, somehow even more generic. Coco Ritter's only just character feature is that she has two different eye colors. Iro literally becomes Diva on her bike upgrade. Oh yeah, she does, doesn't she? You know, Crow's upgraded design is pretty cool. I'll admit that. His base design is pretty generic, but I like his upgraded design. Um, let's see. I need to get my suppressors up. I'm a little bit behind everyone on that. I think I'll probably go with those characters. Um, do I get rewards? I just press the X button now. Survey rewards. Should I close out of it before submitting it? Oh, whatever. If it doesn't give me rewards, it doesn't give me rewards. I'm not going to. I think I got some rewards today for it, but it was like a day later. Understandable. Um. Okay, so it's my current discount's 40% off. Yeah, I don't, I mean, those are just the limited phase. I don't know why anyone would spend, like, their Prima Gems on those. Yeah. So, it, you literally just wait for 10 days, I think. What the strat Pretty is. Much. Is there a way to switch weapons without activating the burst abilities? Not sure. Probably not. Cleared A01 on Nightmare. I would like to figure out which weapons are like any good. I wonder if there's a better tier list now I can look. Cause like I don't want to upgrade Chi Chi <laughs> without mm. knowing it. I mean, upgrading Chi Chi was a great idea at the start of Genshin. Speaking of Genshin, is that crew still full? Um, is it? Yeah, sure is. People might be leaving it because it might just be inactive at this point. 
do you feel like jumping ship to a new, a new crew that we can both join? Uh, we can if there's one that's almost decently full. full. There's, I mean, there's a lot of crews. I'm sure some of them are like almost full. Like, Copium is 148 out of 150. Copium. So we have to okay. act on that one quickly because it's 148. So if you leave Genshin, I think it's going to make you wait two hours. So maybe we should. So let me see. Let me go ahead and quit it then because I think a lot of the. It looks like the commander just isn't playing. Aha! You fell for my secret trap. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to. Oh, test subjects has 150 out of 155, which means that it's leveled up. Yeah, I have a two hour cooldown. Yeah, it'll probably be full by then. I won't join it until that cooldown is over so that we uh, can actually get on the same one. Perhaps by then there will be another uh, team that's upgraded and needs more spots. Yeah. So are, are crews like, does the owner have to accept you, or is it just you can join whatever crew you want, if it's on that list? I believe you can join whatever you want. Because I joined Genshin immediately, after, like I clicked request, but it just put me in there immediately, so. What's up, Bay? How many uh, gold keys do you have? Gold keys, huh? The ones for claiming bosses. Like the password protected chests. Oh, oh. I've been using them as I've been getting them. Um, is it just in my backpack? Probably, yeah. Uh, the type 3 chips, you mean? Yeah. I have two of them. Two, okay. You should probably keep an eye out on chat. And if someone says, like, Robar, channel, whatever, you should probably go do it with them. Frostbot 106. You could do any of them, it's just Robar's, like, the easiest that's right there. Um, although, actually, now that I think about it, I might want to stop doing Robar. Because I believe... Who is it that drops... Yeah, Apophis drops Subasa matrices. Yeah, so the bosses in this game, if you claim them with one of the keys, can drop any of the standard banner weapons or a specific standard banner matrix. So you can just get a 5 star for killing the boss. But I assume that's pretty rare. Pretty rare, but I've definitely seen people in chat say they've gotten it many times at this point. Is it like billet rare, or is it even worse? Don't know. I would actually kind of assume it's closer to billets. The way this game works. But, yeah, so... Robarg, which is the boss on Astra, drops King matrices. Apophis drops Subasa matrices. Frostbot drops uh, Puma matrices, whatever, whatever that is. All right, I just don't want to fight the boss that drops the one that I already have, presumably. Well, you want to fight the boss that drops the matrices of the one you already have. Oh, is that so? Which there isn't one yet. The mat yeah, because those are like your artifacts. So you want your character's artifacts to put on their weapon. That makes sense. Um, the SSR weapons are completely random. Bosses don't drop specific ones of those. Gotcha. So I wonder if people say that my character's less just because they don't have his artifacts set yet. Maybe you just have yeah, to synergize super well with artifacts set, question mark? You could look it up, maybe, and see what it is. Let's see, what's this article say? Yeah. 
Their S tier is Samir, King, and Nemesis. Their A tier is Meryl, Coco Ritter, Crow, Subasa, Huma, Shiro, and Zero. So they're just ranking them by star count, basically. Um, zero is who you have, right? Yes. Okay. And then B is Pepper, C is Inna and Byling, and D is Echo and Hilda. They think Hilda's bad, huh? That's what they say. Who knows? Let's see how many of these tiers, if these are all reciprocated. This person says Samir, King, Shiro, and Nemesis are tier 1, and Tsubasa, and Pro, Huma, Claudia, Cobalt B are tier 2. And they, so they drop Meryl and Zero down, drop Tsubasa down, and put Shiro up. At this point, I think the tier lists are basically just speculation. Uh, kind of. I mean, there's, they're very consistent, and pretty much all of them have Samir and King at the top, so those are probably the two best characters in the game. Just like how Delic was the best character of the game, it's hard to get him. Yep. Maybe the community knows better now. But this game doesn't have, like, a reaction system or anything, so... How complicated teacups are gonna be, like, be... A question. Do they describe some of their stuff? Samir is the best damage dealer. King is AoE damage. Um, Shiro is like AoE damage, slightly worse than King. Nemesis, um, Big range damage. Tsubasa. It's interesting they say she's not the best range character, but very good damage. Um, Crow, fast paced melee damage dealer. Huma is interesting. You can swap between axe and shield forms of Huma. So they're more of a tank based character. Zero is a character with a bit more substance behind them. Is that so? Yeah. All about using your cubes and gaining more cubes using your regular combo to enhance your party protecting weapon skill. It shields allies and deals substantial damage to surrounding monsters. Wait, so... can you use your. So, do you... does your cubes. Are you supposed to use them for your skill instead of your attacks? Uh, yeah. It looks like they say use it for your skill because you're supposed to play them for shielding allies. So he's Toma. Yeah. Meryl is... Meryl. What's their best... Well, what's their best uh, SR weapon then? Um, people generally like, well, generally Pepper's the highest on a lot of these just because support, um, there's less support characters than DPS characters right now, so they prefer slotting her in as a support. Otherwise, probably the Lightning Spear you get for free. Or, personally, in my experience, Anna, the Pummeler Cryo Hammer, has been the best. Just damage wise. Tier lists are pretty mixed on what they think is good. Senna is considered more of a tank. If you're looking for a tank, well, I mean, it's a tank that does a lot of damage. If you're looking for 
a damage than use either the either of the free ones, the electro bow or the electro spear. Well, that's good because this is the only ones that I have. Oh, interesting. It actually lists like what their best roll is. So Byling is considered a main DPS, and Echo is considered a good shield breaker. And those considered a tank, Hilda is considered a main DPS, and Pepper is considered utility support. Nemesis is actually considered a utility support character. As is zero. So if you go the route of assuming that support characters will age better than DPS characters, which is usually true. At GG. Then the best characters to get right now are Nemesis, Coco Ritter, and Zero. So if you want damage, you should probably get King or Samir. So at this point, I'm thinking I'd probably pull Samir for my free pull, depending as much as I want Meryl for fun. It'd also be guns, which would just be like a different kind of kind of gameplay, which is always nice. See, can I see how much experience I have? Do we ever figure out a way to do that? Is it is it just like your C your CP or whatever? No, CP is combat power. Or oh. CS. It's basically your sum damage dealing potential. Some arbitrary number they calculate, I don't know. It's probably a bunch of things added together. Yeah, you can see EXP if you just press C. Ah. You see my satiety, too. Speaking yep. of, I should probably do my food thing. Let me go get this last teleport waypoint. I am at level 30 now. Which is oh, you get peppers, pull me. Full matrix set if you complete chapter seven uh, of the Wanderer's that? Log. It's just the Adventure um, Handbook. The Adventure Handbook. I don't think it's out yet, but uh, yeah, you do. That's actually pretty nice. Um, because I already have her like C three as well, so I could maybe get like a second support build. You could probably build a pretty good support build if you went, like, with her Zero and Pepper at the same time. I finished Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. I could probably do Chapter 3 now as well. Not sure. Do I like the bow character or do I like the spear character more? Uh... Bow gameplay is kind of fun, but also the spear character's damage feels pretty nice, and you get a lot of constellations for her, it seems. So. Well, I have equal constellations for the spear and the bow. You also will get all of the spear character's matrices. In that case, maybe I should upgrade the spear. I have two of her matrices now for upgrading, or no, I have one, or no, no, I have two. Yeah, I have two of her matrices now. As you upgrade your suppressor, you get her matrices. So by the time you get to suppressor level three and max out um, suppressor three, you'll have all four of her matrices. And then... 
amplifier one, two, and three each give me one Shiro matrixy. It's quite nice. Enhancements are 100% transferable when changing equipment. Have you ever heard any better words than that? Imagine being, a, uh, being able to upgrade things early on in the game without fear, because if you change gear later, all of your upgrades transfer with no loss. Wait, really? Yep. That's nice. That's how, how it works for the equipment, at least. I believe that also is true for matrices. Like, you know, Genshin transfers like 80% of the XP. I believe I saw that this does 100%. So, while I'm not really trying to spend resources upgrading matrices yet, you definitely can. Um, the Spears Matrix set says using a discharge skill to switch to the current weapon grants AD weapon charge. So you get basically like a tenth of your charge back. So she becomes a Favonius Lance. Well, that's nice. Um, um, also, you know, we haven't been doing the story, but you know, Like, the girl that was showing us around and basically did all the tutorial stuff that then, you know, the whole game is about figuring out what happened to her. Yeah. And finding her and Zeke. I'm pretty sure she is Nemesis. Or, like, becomes Nemesis. Because they have basically the same hair and they have the same little thing in their hair. So I have a feeling that, like, it's going to be something along, along the lines of, like, you know, going into a new body because it's all robotic. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, if the story wanted to be good, I mean, it'll, it'll probably explore some, some sci-fi trope of, like, oh, are we really alive and this and that, but we'll see if, how far it goes down that route. I guess there's a chance it does, because I think... I don't know. It was in one of the Zeke cutscenes where... The truth of this like, world, what could it be? Um, where am I going here? There's a chest on the top of that. Question is, do I have the patience to get it? Did I just get another thing off? What is this? Is it opening chests or something? Oh, enhance the equipment option. Oh, that means I can enhance the equipment again. Well, isn't that just nifty? I'm getting some like SR 
Texas as hers. What is this? I guess it's R, like R level equipment. Yeah. Not really worth rating. I can also upgrade my weapons now, actually, because... Is there a reason not to hit every French request I get? Uh, I am just for the achievements. I can remove them later if I really wanted to. Sure, why not? Reach Brenda level 35 to augment. I wonder if that'll be tomorrow's cap. Are you... Your friend list can get full. Interesting. So getting them to 60 is like the limit of doing it cheaply, I think. Going from 60 to 70, it's going to start taking more and more resources. Is Robarg the one you wanted me to do? Um, Robarg's the easiest one for you to do because you can just go to like the teleport point that's right by him and jump down into it. It's also the easiest of the bosses to kill. But I mean, you can do any of them. It doesn't really matter. What happens if I just start lying in chat and say there's bosses where there aren't bosses? Oh, there there have been people who do that, and people do not get very happy with that. I'm guessing they'll just want to be my friend after I do that. Yep. Definitely won't block you. I wonder if there's, because there's an achievement for, like, falling off a giant mountain and barely not dying. I wonder if there's a place where you can do that consistently. There's another stronghold here that I haven't cleared out, so I should do that. I'll have almost all of Astro cleared out. One of the things that I found was like a Breath of the Wild shrine. Because it like had, you know, the Breath of the Wild shrine that had the star patterns, and you had to like put the balls in the holes to match the star patterns. Does it just have that? Constellations. It was basically that, yeah. It was a lot simpler, but. And then it had the same thing where like there was a secondary pattern hidden somewhere that you could do optionally for a chest. So, like, yeah, it's just a watered down Breath of the Wild shrine, but also, eh, I mean, it's fine.
Uh, what is this? Every time I do one of those nuke bases hidden behind like a tar wall, I always set myself on fire. Do you want to do some resin? Uh, I will after I get back from eating. Oh, you're going to dinner now? Yeah, it's ready now, so I'll have to do that real fast, and then we can. Alright, um, well, might as well grab a bite to eat while you're at it. Alright, sounds good. Alright, see ya. See you in a bit.